I'm DK. I'm Justin. And you're watching Gear 65, the gadget review show. In this special two-part episode, we are taking a look at the Sony Vio X. So this is the highly anticipated Sony Vio X. Um, you know, I, I must say that uh, I'm very happy with this device so far. All right, so um, fly away with strong wing. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let's just uh, talk about this device, right? If you don't know what this device is, this is possibly the lightest computer, the thinnest computer with at least a Tech, a tech 65 we've ever played with. Right. It is just so amazing. This, yes, and, and you, it's, it's hard to tell, right, in the camera right now because we're putting it here. Yeah. And you might think, oh, my hands are actually very big. No, but one of the camera trick. When, when I first got it from Daniel, right, I was like expecting it to be slightly heavier, you know, and yeah. I literally just went up like that. Oh, wow, this is so light. We're just going to start off straight away by telling you the weight, right? Because the weight is the thing that blew most people away. This machine, right, is slightly above 600 grams. Yes, it's only 688 grams. It's not even That's one crazy. That's insane. My, my HP Mini, okay, like this, this HP Mini right here, right? This one, this cost, this is almost about, it's, it's slightly above 1 kg. 1.1 something. Yeah, I, let's compare how fat it is. Sorry, it's just, um, yeah, and, and you can see, right, the machine is significantly thinner than the, uh, the HP Mini, so that, that's pretty amazing. And, and if you know about this HP Mini 1000, right, it is one of the thinnest notebooks around the, the market now. The netbooks, uh, at least. Yes, one of the thinnest netbooks, so... Yeah, it's, 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 it really just is amazing. Uh, and, and I don't know what to call it. I, I can't call it a netbook, I can't call it a full-fledged laptop. What yeah, I call it's, a, it's a little bit of a class of its own. One of the ways I always tell people right, how thin this machine is, is if you take a look, right, at the, the computer itself, right, this is the VGA port, right, the whole computer is as thick, slightly maybe a few millimeters thicker than the VGA, entire VGA port itself. Right. In fact, right, this computer right, is so thin that they couldn't fit a proper uh, Ethernet port inside. They actually had to make a custom one which actually folds open. Which and I like nice. it. Yeah. So if, if you and you know, which is good, right? That means they still left the important ports inside, right? So while we're at it, let's talk about the ports then. So VGA port on the right, a uh, Ethernet port on the on the same side as well. Uh, the power switch is over here, so it actually it glows green or orange if it's uh, on standby. Just push this down, okay. On this side, you have the uh, the charger, all right. Uh, the charger port. It comes with a pretty tiny uh, charger, which is this and one. it's really light Sorry. too. The charger, yeah. So you're not really small. lugging around a heavy charger. And, around, and yeah? the, the the cable is a uh, is a short cable as well, so I, I like that one. Um, Kensington lock, two USB ports on this side, and a 3.5 millimeter audio out only. There's no microphone, yep. and that's uh, one uh, thing that we're a little bit disappointed about. So once again, it's just amazingly thin. And um, you know, one of the complaints, right, that people had, right, if you take a look how thin the display is, right, uh, with the original Z series laptop, which was uh, Sony's uh, original um, thin laptop, was that um, it, you know, I, I worked at a place, right, where um, the BIOS actually broke last okay. time, right? Because just by normal usage, just by opening, because you open the, your display like this, right, and the display bends. And after a while, the whole display will crack. Right. But what they've done, right, is that if you take a look, uh, from, if you take a look, right, it's actually um, tapered, like a triangle shape, right? So it's actually made it a little bit more reinforced, a little bit stronger, so that it doesn't bend so easily as well. Right. Yeah, and likewise, they've done, um, if we, we were at the press release and they told us that um, they've actually done quite a bit of research, uh, quite a bit of testing to make sure that the, the computer can actually withstand the, um, things like holding the computer like this for long periods of time yep. without breaking yeah and, and uh, you know it's supposed to be a lot more durable than some of the thin notebooks that um, Sony actually had in the past and, and while we are talking about the screen right like okay so one of the things I really like about it is because it's so thin yeah okay so if you take a look at over here you know it lifts your you know your laptop by just a little bit here and it doesn't yep. force you know your Correct. doesn't affect the screen itself yeah. so with this little thing here this is effectively a, a leg for the computer right it actually likes the computer yep. just uh, a little it raises bit. the computer upwards when your monitor is actually really bad talking about legs right there's a foldable leg oh Oops, sorry yeah, there's a foldable leg here, so it actually raises it for two reasons. One, to make it a little more comfortable for your hands. Two, to support the, uh, the Ethernet, Ethernet port right here. Uh -huh. And uh, for the first time, we can officially show you the certification of authentication for Windows 7. And this is the serial key, so those of you who are stealing Windows 7 keys, <laughs> this is the serial key you can take, okay? This yes. Is, uh, for all those people who've been, oh, you showed the serial number, you showed Yeah, this time we can officially show you. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, jokes aside. Um, and then, uh, so the front side, let's take a look at the front first, um, before we actually show you the keyboard. Mm. Two, uh, two card slots, just like the Sony Vio Double. An SD card slot over here and a memory stick uh, slot over here on this side here. 
uh, you have the ports, uh, you have the indicator lights, the hard drive, uh, the battery charging as well, the wireless. And for the SD slot, right, it goes all the way in. Yeah, yeah, so I got an SD awesome. card right here, and then you can just uh, slot it. All, All the way, the way in. in. So, you know, it does not jut out in any way. Yep. So, you can actually just leave it inside there, which is great. Uh, I believe it's the same for the memory stick as well. Yes. Uh, and I'll show you why I actually think so, even though I don't have a memory stick later. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the bottom. We'll leave the keyboard and display for the last. So, we, we saw it already. So, if you take a look here, right, there's actually a screw point over here. This screw is actually for the extended battery. The extended battery is actually not a very ugly design. Um, you know, and uh, with the extender, the by, with the default battery on its own, it, it's it's about two and a half hours, two uh, two about three would, hours. Uh, officially, they said three point five hours, but we, based on my I, usage, based yeah. on my usage, and yeah. this, my usage is just balanced. You okay, know? It's my like, usage is very heavy. I did programming okay. on this machine. And <laughs> I mean, as in like the power settings. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. To get like really smooth stuff oh, yeah, and yeah, graphics yeah. and all of that. So, and it's it lasts about like two hours, two, two, two hours to two and a half. Two and a half hours on the highest performance yeah. and doing heavy things is two and a half hours. So uh, if you actually you know just do normal surfing web. Uh, you'll probably be able to get it to last uh, a bit over, over three and a half hours. The extended battery, it goes up to 16 hours, and that's what they claim. Oh. All right, and what I, I would say it will be probably about 12, 13 hours with uh, really usage. So it gives you the full day usage of this, which is what I'm really, really impressed about. Wow. Yeah, I did not know about the 16 wow, hour that's thing. Very impressive. Yeah. That's very impressive. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that, that is good about it, okay, so so because you have the uh, race over here, right? So with the battery, it raises up a little bit so that you can actually yeah. take this thing off. And there's a bit of uh, space for ventilation in the middle as well. We don't yes. have the extended battery, but it, it, you go to the shops and ask them for it. You can uh, probably take a look. It's actually I've pretty taken a look at it, and it's really nice. Really, really nice. Now, um, here's another thing, right? If we, if you remember in the past, we actually had a computer called the BioP, yes. and we actually we didn't really like that very much because it was a, it was in a very strange position. It was too expensive, uh, you know, for a netbook, yet too cheap and too weak for a proper, you know, full scale mini yeah. note, right? So, very interestingly, in our opinion, we feel that the Bio X, right, is what the BioP should have been in the beginning. In fact, if you take out the battery, just uh, help me out a little bit here. I'm gonna unlock these two. If you take out the battery uh, and then you'll notice that there's nothing underneath the battery except the memory card. This is the memory stick slot, so you remember. You, you, you can see where right, this is so long, that's why you can fit the whole memory stick card inside. The trackpad and the SD card slot, there's absolutely nothing at all. This is just, this is just nothing. Essentially, the entire motherboard is fitted right inside here. Right, so this is uh, you know like uh, the the bio Doesn't that remind you of the bio P? Yeah, th that's right. Yeah. And also, you know, one of the things that I feel is really really good is they balanced out the battery weight and you know the uh, the whole thing because yeah. it, it feels very balanced. It's not like it's overweighted at one point and you know. Oh, by the way, the battery is so thin that they need to put a metal here to prevent it from breaking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So which is really cool. Um, we really uh, quite impressed with that. So, let's finally take a look at the keyboard because we've said all the good things. We need to leave uh, some bad things at the end. So that was uh, part one of the Sony Vio X episode of Gear 65. You can tell we're all very excited about this machine. We want to tell you more, so be sure to check out this button here. Click it and you can watch part two where we talk a little bit more about the Sony Vio X.